Hey y'all, it's Courtney and I am back with another video. Um, I hope you are having a wonderful Sunday afternoon slash evening. Um, wherever you may be, I hope that you are having a beautiful day and that you're spending it with somebody that you love. Um, yeah, I just hope you're having a, a great day. Um, I am enjoying the fruits of my labors <laughs> yesterday because yesterday I spent a lot of time out here picking weeds and raking up uh, grass that my husband cut because our grass it was like a jungle out here because uh, we didn't have a weed eater there for a while um, so we got a weed eater and uh, did the grass and so really Baba really look at this you see it look at that fat ass what are you doing bro he does this every time he was sorry he's he was upset because the kids are like I don't know if you can see the kids but they're literally that far away, and he is that upset that he just dug under the fence so he could get out to get to them. That is how big of a nanny dog he is. Like, he was... I had to stop this video twice already because he was in the background going, <gasps> crying and whining because he can't see the kids. It's ridiculous. Um, and he does the same thing with me. Last night... Well... Last night when my husband got home, um, we went like three or four different places in the house and um everywhere we went he kept following me and trying to like get in the way and uh I was like dude what is wrong with you like he, he just has to be up on somebody and it's usually me but if it's not me then it's the kids um and right now it's the kids because obviously they're the ones that are he couldn't see so he has to know where they're at Baba, come on Baba. Um, but anyways, so yeah, um, I posted a video last night, and I failed to realize that it cut off, like, 15 minutes before I thought it did. I thought it was, like, a 30-minute video, uh, and it ended up only being, like, a 14-minute video, and I, I only ended up showing, like, three pairs of shoes before it cut off. So I just deleted it, because it was, like, 10 minutes of me bitching and just, you know, doing what I do. And then it was like five minutes of me showing shoes. And I posted it that it was a uh, shoe collection. So next time I'm just going to redo it. And uh, hold on guys. Okay, I'm back. The kids came down to get a drink and stuff. So y'all know how that is. But yeah, um, it's really sad, man. I had this cute ass video yesterday of autumn. And I wanted to upload it so bad so bad because it's so freaking cute and there's some of you on here that I would love to share that kind of stuff with but I can't you know you just can't do it because it's just you know you know you guys that are in this community um, in particular know you just can't do that kind of stuff because there's some sick people out there you know I saw a video of somebody saying that um, there are a lot of mentally ill people in this community, and um, there are. You know, there are. I'm mentally ill. I'm very mentally ill. But I believe that I... I... am pretty good at um, keeping my shit together, you know? Sometimes I have my moments where I, I just want to break down and I just want to throw a fit and I just want to, you know, scream and I just want to, you know, you know, get some anger out. Um, but I don't do that on YouTube. Um, I, when I get feeling that way, I walk away from the phone for a couple of days. Um, and I get in these little moments where I almost like despise the phone uh, when I get in one of my little really depressive states I've told you guys this a million times I get in like these little moods where thinking about getting on YouTube or thinking about filming a video just makes me sick to my stomach I don't know why but that's just how I feel sometimes um what hold on hold on guys the interruptions are real tonight <laughs> I'm just kidding He's hungry. He wants dinner. So, 
I'm going to talk for a minute and let them play for about 10 more minutes. And then I'm going to go and make some dinner. I wanted to cook on the grill, but I don't have any charcoal right now. So, And my electric grill literally died. So, uh, it's a hunk of junk sitting on my porch now. So, it's got to go too. Um, I don't. I, I don't, I've been talking for five minutes, I don't even know if I said this, but, um, so I made a video last night, and, uh, I've had so many interruptions, I can't remember whether I said this, if I did, I'm so sorry, I'll just, I'll say it quickly, but, um, I uploaded a video last night that was, like, 14 minutes long, and I was talking about my shoe collection, and I thought it was, like, 30 minutes long, but it ended up only being, like, 15 minutes long, and the first 10 minutes was me bitching about just doing what I do, you know, just commenting on situations or whatever, you know, just bullshitting, um, I was talking some bullshit, and, um, like we all do around here, <laughs> um, and, uh, so I went, I uploaded it, because, uh, my husband was, went out with my cousin's husband, and, uh, like I said, I was just bored, so I just hit upload, and then I laid down and went to bed. Well, it wasn't until this morning that I went to go look at the video because I noticed that somebody commented on it, and I clicked on it, and it was only 14 minutes long, and I'm like, what is this? Like, I uploaded a 30-minute video, uh, and it ended up being, like I said, like, <laughs> 10 minutes of me talking shit and, like, showing three pair of shoes. So I went ahead and deleted it, and um, I'm going to refilm it, and I'm not going to talk about anything going on. I am just going to strictly make it um, a shoe video, uh, cause that's what it was supposed to be, but I just got, you know, I got talking like I always do, rambling on like I always do, um, the ADD is strong with me, so, uh, yeah, um, oh, so the whole reason, oh my god, I can't believe I didn't say this already, the whole reason that I wanted to make this video, guys, is guess what, oh, Courtney here, is officially a hot grandma. Ooh, not even 30 and I'm a grandma. 29. Won't be 30 till December. Uh, yeah, so I'm a grandma to a beautiful little 8 pound, 8 ounce baby girl. And her name is Maya and she is gorgeous. And we want to go see her tomorrow. Uh, she was born last night. And um, I don't know why, but her mama went to the next county over to have her maybe maybe her daddy's family lives there or something i'm not sure why she chose there but um yeah so we're gonna go see her tomorrow and i would love nothing more than to take a video of her and share it with you guys but can't do it so i'll probably um you know take some pictures of her and stuff and share it privately with uh those of you that Obviously, I'm close with, and I know aren't going to be weirdos about it, so. Oh, God, I hate it when that happens. When we out, when we went out to the bar the other night, and, uh, well, we went, that sounds so bad. We didn't go, like, out clubbing or anything. Uh, we went to go watch a band. Um, I feel so weird saying that because, you know, I've got six and a half years. August made six and a half years. Uh, six years, six months. And, um... So I feel really weird when I say I went out to the bar, but we went out to the bar. And um, I know a lot of people say that, you know, you shouldn't be doing anything at all whenever you're sober or whatever. But, um, and I know this is really cliche to say because a lot of people say it and then they get, you know, they turn into an alcoholic. But literally drinking was never really my, my drug of choice or poison of choice. Um... So I can literally drink a couple beers and then not drink again for a, another year. Because that's literally what I did. Um, we went out the weekend before and we had to come home because the kids just... They're, they don't ever stay anywhere else. They're not used to um, staying the night with even their grandparents. My dad has kept Autumn maybe twice, I think, since she was born. And um, his mom has kept the girls maybe five times total uh, since Autumn's been born, so they are not used to not being with us at night, so they were not having, having a good time, so we had to go home that night, so we didn't get to, you know, even watch the, the whole band play or anything, um, so then when we went out last week, was it last weekend? I think it was last week, and we were like, 
we are not coming home. So, be clear now. You know, we are going to go out and we're going to have fun. So, we actually went out and, you know, we actually had some fun. Um, hold on a second, guys. I got to wrangle in the kids. All right, y'all, I'm back. I don't even know what I was talking about at all. But, um, we are going to walk down in the woods. And I'm going to show you guys what they are doing. Excuse me. <clears throat> Somebody's being whiny. It's getting, it's getting later. Yeah, Patience wants to show you the panda that she won. Can you see it? Yeah. Isn't it cute? It's really fat. <laughs> What's that? It's a panda. <laughs> Mommy. Lots of things. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. So, I saw a drama video today, right? <clears throat> and it was this drama channel. And this drama channel is very jealous. <laughs> Of oh. other drama channels because they're they're meeting with bigger people on YouTube and they're they're getting connections and they're going to Los Angeles and they're you know they're they're thriving. I want to live um, in Los Angeles. No, you don't. Yes, I do. There's a porta potty. This isn't the first in time my woods. I told you that I wanted to live in Los Angeles. Yeah, but the people in Los Angeles are just everybody's just so fake and. I've, I've heard stories. Um, I can be the first real person there. I guess. Surrounded by fake people. I don't know how fun that would be. But, um, no, nobody's in the porta potty uh, She knocked on the door earlier. So, yeah, so this, this person um, that posted this video is so jealous. Like, just seething with jealousy because all these other channels are thriving and um they're not i guess they're not getting all these offers and nobody wants to um meet with them and nobody really cares about you know this channel as much and like i said the jealousy is just seething off of this person okay. i never i never i hope i never feel that way like so jealous of my fellow creator content creators i'm not a content creator i'm a I, i'm a You're fucking a ex junkie that I know exactly tells you about you my life call your fans you should call them the randos the randos <laughs> yeah. the randos um I, I guess she thinks that i should have a name for you guys i'm like not that popular yet like nobody gives a shit enough yet <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I ever will, you know, be that big of a deal, but I hope so. I hope someday that, you know, um, and not just because I want to get rich and famous or anything like that. It's just that I really enjoy telling my life experience to you guys, um, in a way that maybe you can get something out of it or maybe, maybe one person will decide to never use drugs or, will go and get help for their for their mental health or you know um will think twice about getting on a certain medication or there's just lots of um okay hold on anyways guys um yeah so they're they're tearing it all up down here are you showing me no i'm showing down there not very happy about it. It's all torn up back in there and everything. Um, maybe I'll walk all the way down and show you guys sometime. But I'm just... Uh, the other day, like a week or two ago, was the first time I came down here and actually saw what they were doing. And I freaking cried. I grew up in these woods. You know, I, I ran these woods from the time I was like five or six. Uh, because back then, your kids could play outside by themselves. And you didn't have to worry about somebody coming and thieving them. Or, you know, somebody stealing them, putting them into sex trafficking, or... Climb the hill. King of the hill, king of the hill. All right. Um, she still didn't get up there. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, I was going to tell you guys something else, but I can't remember what it was now. I can't get up. I'm not recording you. I was there a second ago, but I'm not now. Um, I forget. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Patience's mom got really mad just a minute ago. 
because she called from prison, and uh, oh, I don't no, know what they were talking driving. about. Yeah, I don't take them in the rocks like that. Uh, I don't know what they were talking about, but all of a sudden I hear patients say, um, Courtney is my mom. And I was like, oh God, here we go. And she must have said something to the effect of no, she's not, because patients was like, uh, yeah, she is. She's been there since I was four. And they went back and forth for a minute, and then her mom was like, I want to talk to your dad. And of course she told my husband. She said she called to talk to me, and then I'm, and then she said she's a, she said I call to talk, I call and talk to you, not to argue with you. Okay. Um, then I don't know why she starts arguments every time she calls, but. Because I was just, because, um, I was talking to you how I was nervous to go to school, and she said, you can, you need to talk to your dad, and I was like, I talked to Courtney, and she said, you should talk to your dad, too, and I'm like, why not? Courtney is my mom, too, and she's like, Ah, uh, that's why. Yeah, I was wondering why that, that even came about. Um. But anyways, yeah, she she got on the phone with my husband and was like, oh, well, you know, you need to talk to her about not saying that Courtney's her mom. And, like, she just has such a fucking problem with, with me being her. I am her stepmom, you know what I mean? Like, there's not much she can do about that. I am her